start adding extra as soon as I hit record. Uh, I am Sage. Welcome back. Or for the first time, um, it's with you Wednesdays. Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do today. There is a YouTuber, uh, among other things, called Dragon Feather. Dragon Feather 369, I want to say, is her name, but I'll put a link to her channel down below. And she runs a community on Amino. Amino is sort of like a social networking group. And you can create all these like communities on it. There's like a shit ton of communities on it. But anyway, she runs one called the Hatchling Clan. It's called that because she is like a she follows a dragon path in her witchcraft. So uh, she created this tag. Uh, she called it the Autumn Maggot Ma Maggage. Apparently, I'm having issues speaking. The Autumn Magic tag. <laughs> I have it pulled up right here on my computer. So what I'm going to be doing is answering these questions. So question number one is what does Autumn mean to you? Uh, I love Autumn. <laughs> I just do. I just have an itch. I blame my cats for that. Um, Autumn is like the time of the year when like the nights are really starting to get longer um it just it's a time of year that I really enjoy and unfortunately I live in Florida now so the things I enjoy most about it I don't really get to experience anymore so I love the red orange and yellow leaves um, I love the piles of leaves on the ground and like crunching through them. It makes me happy. Like it just literally makes me happy to do that. Um, I love the, the weather during that time and, you know, normal states. Um, <laughs> I like to wear sweaters. I like to wear scarves. I like to wear boots. Um, I'm not a shorts kind of girl. I'm not, I'm not a shorts and sandals and tank top kind of girl. I'm more of like a jean, sweater, boots, like fun boots. Um, I also really like, um, I just totally lost what I was saying. Oh, hoodies. I love hoodies too. Um, and autumn's a good season for that. So I need to just move somewhere where it's like autumn all year round, but you know, I don't think that exists. Um, so I love autumn. It's just a comfortable time of the year for me. It feels like a more magical time of the year to me, too. I just love it. Um, coffee, tea, or hot chocolate? So, I rarely, rarely drink coffee. Um, just, I'm just not a big coffee person. I like some flavored coffees, but then there's, like, so much sugar in it. Um, sudden... Hot chocolate, I do like, I've always loved hot chocolate, but I don't make it much. Plus I'm kinda going more vegan right now, and that's a bit harder to do with hot chocolate. There is vegan chocolate, but I'm sure vegan hot chocolate, not as easy to find. So I'm gonna go with tea. Um, I've always loved sweet iced tea. I don't drink that much anymore though. Like, actually, I can't remember the last time I drank it. Maybe it was at a restaurant or something. Um, but I do love, like, hot teas. Like, my favorite tea, I've probably mentioned it on here. I just buy it at the grocery store. It's the Yogi brand, and it's called Throat Comfort. And it's meant to just help your throat. And if I have a sore throat, it really does help. But I also just really love the taste of it. So, yeah. I like to drink that a lot. Uh, my favorite autumn colors... So when I think of autumn, the first thing I think about is like the red, orange, yellow of the leaves. But to me, just like deep jewel tone colors. Purples, um, even blues, just as long as they're like deeper jewel tone. Um, you know, nothing pastel or, or anything for autumn. Um, I see autumn as being darker colors and more jewel tones. 
and I like that. Um, it's actually kind of odd, like, I don't really like the color orange or yellow, um, but I love the red, orange, and yellow leaves, so, I don't know how that works. Um, your favorite autumn activity? I mean, I love Halloween. I wish I actually lived in a house where, you know, kids would come to my door, so I could give them candy and see their costumes and stuff. But I've lived in, like, apartments for a very long time, and nobody trick-or-treats at apartments, so. Um, so, I don't know. That's, like, my favorite part of autumn, though, is Halloween. Um, but I've rarely got to do anything for it in a long time, so. How do you celebrate autumn? I mean, I don't really do anything to celebrate it. I would like to be able to do like more decorations and stuff um, because I do love the feel of autumn, but I just haven't been able to do that. What corresponds to autumn for you? Okay, well, I've already talked about the colors. Um, animals that make me think of autumn are like the fox, deer, squirrels, even though they're out year-round. <laughs> um, so those make me think of autumn. Apples make me think of autumn. Cinnamon makes me think of autumn. Oh, pumpkins, of course. That's one of my favorite things to decorate with for autumn is pumpkins. Um, the smell of pumpkins. I'm not all into necessarily pumpkin spice everything, but I do love the flavor of pumpkin. Um, so like I love pumpkin pie, and I love like pumpkin cake rolls. Um, there's quite a few pumpkin things I do like. I'm just like, some of it I'm like, pumpkin spice Cheerios, what? Like why? Stop that. <laughs> it's not necessary, stop that. Stop trying to make pumpkin everything. I love the taste of it, but stop. Um, I'm not like a big pum pumpkin spice latte person or anything like that, um, but pumpkins definitely make me think of autumn. Uh, what's your favorite autumn treat? Probably pumpkin pie. Love me some pumpkin pie, but just a little bit of Cool Whip on top. Perfect. How do you let go like leaves from the trees? Um, this is a good time of the year to let go of things. Um, when I'm trying to let go of something, I usually do some sort of spell. I might write down what it is that I'm wanting to let go of and, like, burn it. Um, that's probably the most common way. What's your favorite autumn memory? I don't know that I have a favorite autumn memory. I don't think I have one. Like, I can't, nothing pops to mind. Uh, what do you believe about death? Um, I believe we all die. But I do believe in reincarnation. Um, I believe we all have, like, our soul has lessons to learn and, um, you know, to grow and evolve and all of that. And once we've learned everything we need to learn then we can be like reunited with the source the divine um so i just i believe when you die it's just the beginning of your next life so uh although i also believe that in the sort of spiritual world maybe where you are between lives and such that time isn't linear. Time's only linear in our world. So you actually could be having more than one life happen at the same time. Um, because your soul doesn't follow a linear timeline. So um, that's an interesting thought. That's what I believe about death. How do you honor the dead? Um, I don't really. I don't have anyone I feel the need to honor. Um. Do you feel most magical during autumn? Uh, I feel like it's the most magic time of the year. Um, it's something I would like to start incorporating more, definitely.
What do you do when the veil is at its thinnest? Which is that one. Um, I have never really done anything too specific for Samhain itself. Um, but I would like to start doing that. Um, do a spell, do a ritual, you know, that kind of stuff. Because um, I think magic is a little, maybe a little stronger during that time. A little easier to reach over to the other side. Um, maybe easier to talk to spirit guides, angels, um, you know, whoever you uh, work with. So that would be interesting. So I might, I might do that a little bit this year. Um, I just, I haven't done it yet. So that is my autumn magic tag. Um, now her second dragon feather second challenge is to make an autumn altar. I don't have the tools. I don't have the decorations, like I don't have anything like that and I don't have the money to go get anything. I would love to because it's it's my favorite time of year and the, the decorations are my favorite. Um, I'd love to go to the dollar store and buy some stuff but I'm incredibly broke. My husband did talk about bringing some leaves in from outside because they do fall off the trees here even though we don't technically have autumn. They're all still very green and they will be green year round but trees do naturally or leaves naturally do fall though. Um, so he was talking about bringing in some leaves, but like brown leaves aren't fall to me. I mean, yes, they do turn brown on the ground, and I like to crunch in them when they're brown. But to me, it's the red, orange, yellow. So, really, all I have done, I did rearrange my altar last night. Um, and if you saw my previous video on my altar tour, I had a light blue scarf across my altar. Um, I've switched to another scarf now that's, uh, it's the closest <laughs> to altar colors I have. I only have three scarves. I have the blue one, I have this one that I'm going to show you, and then I have a black one. So, I don't have a choice there. But, let's take a look. Hang on, hang on, hang on, don't get sick. Okay, there we go. So here is my altar now. Um, it's basically got the same stuff on it, it's just rearranged. So, I don't think I had my blue dragon statue on here. I got my Palo Santo and shell on him, my dragon incense, all my crystals are out loose now. Um, my candle has been completely burned down. What's around it is sage, loose sage from a spell I did, and also some cinnamon. My star container right there no longer contains crystals it actually contains loose sage leaves so other than that the altar's the same just maybe in a different order but this is the um closest autumn thing i had so that might actually look autumn so that's how that worked that is how we got Oh, oh, okay. See, now my camera's like, no, we wanna, we wanna fall. Hang on. This tripod was really cheap, and it doesn't lock into place very well, and the longer I've had it, the less it locks into place. Um, sometimes I'll lock it in place, and then I'll just, like, touch the camera to hit the record button, which is right on the back of it, and it'll just, like, fall. It's okay. It's okay. It's alright. <laughs> I'm doing what I can with what I have, right? All right. So really, I guess I did both of the current challenges in the Hatchling Clan. Um, if I'm able to get some more fall decor this month and really update my altar, I'll show you guys. I'll do another altar tour, so. But for now, that's gonna be it. Um, all right, I appreciate you being with me. Um, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, week, month, year, all of that. I wish you all the blessings of the world. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye.